この番組はフューチャーラーニング<笑>この番組はバンクだから I used to listen to this podcast ピートの不思議なガレージ So Pete's mysterious garage and at the end of every episode they have like this little slogan catchphrase that they say Let's just I'll play it for you この話はドライブヨアンビション三菱自動車がお送りしました Did you catch that? I'll play it one more time この話はドライブヨアンビション三菱自動車がお送りしました Yeah, so it's このお話はドライブヨアンビション<笑>三菱自動車がお送りしました So this talk was brought to you by 三菱 Motors Drive your ambition. So now that I'm getting more seriously into making this YouTube channel and maybe podcast, obviously my top priority is to have a, fr- a outro slogan phrase like this. And it's got to have something like drive your ambition, which is just doesn't make total sense. So that is going to be my focus today.、Um, and if you want to break this down, so this sentence, Kono is this, Ohanashi is talk or discussion, and they're adding the little、um, honorific prefix, O. Just because you do that sometimes. What is a particle that we'll talk about somewhere else? Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Jidosha is Mitsubishi Motors. Ga is a particle. And then Okuri Shimashita. Okuri Shimashita. So that's the verb Okuru, which means like to send or to, to deliver. And then the mas stem is Okuri. And you put the honorific prefix O before it. So O Okuri. And then the verb Suru after. And that changes this verb into a humble form. We have a lesson on this in Native Shark using O Suru in humble speech. O Suru is used when referring to your own actions in Kenjogo, humble language. It is particular. Particularly common when describing your own actions to a customer. So, for example, a sentence about PCR testing on a clinic's website. Yeah, so they have the verb, shiraseru, and they put it in its ma stem, put o in the front, and the verb suru at the end, and that makes it sound humble. Yeah, and then, of course, we have lots of example sentences because it's native shark. I can't mention, like, This type of sentence without mentioning the super famous one, which appears at the end of lots of TV shows. Which, if you watch much Japanese media, you've pr- especially TV, like live TV, you've probably seen. I'll、oh, see, they said, Okuri shimashita, past tense there, but sometimes they say shima, sometimes they say shimashita. Let's see what the next one is. Yeah, Okurishimas for that one. That sentence is, Kono bangumi wa goran no sponsor no teikyo de Okurishimas, which means something like, This show is brought to you by the following sponsors. And it's not really the following, it's like brought to you by the sponsors shown on the screen, but that's kind of a weird thing to translate. Into English. Let's break it down. So, Kono is this. Bangumi is show program. Wa is a particle. Goran, goran is like seeing or looking.、Uh, it's like a formal word that means seeing or looking. We have lessons on that too in Native Shark. Okay, and then no is a particle, possessive particle. Sponsa is sponsor. And then the keywords there are takeyo, which means like offering or provisioning, like delivering, like they're, op- they're providing it to you. And then, o k u r i s h i m a s is humbly send, deliver. They, sometimes they have the word take yo like on the screen. Yeah, they do right there. See, look, take yo. And then they have the sponsors beneath that. And then they say, like, yeah, Kono Bangumi. So this show you're watching. Goran no sponsor, the sponsors you are seeing, looking at. No, take yo, offering, delivering. De, o k u r i s h i m a s we send. Let's, let's listen to the next one. Kono Bangumi wa Goran no sponsor no take yo de o k u r i s h i m a s Yeah, see? This show, by the way, is、uh, Crayon Shinchan. We have a lesson on that too, a n i a Shark. Actually, I'll read the, I'll read the、uh, summary for you, just in case you don't know what it is. Crayon Shinchan started in 1990 as a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Yoshito Usui. The highly famous anime began airing in 1992 and has over 1,000 episodes. We have a lot of episodes in,、uh, a lot of episodes, we have a lot of lessons in Native Shark, as you can see. Okay, so. My project for today is to come up with my own sentence. Not like this one, because I'm not going to have sponsors I put on the screen, but I want to have one like the podcast one that we listen to, where I insert a phrase like, I don't know, Kono Hanashi wa Raningu the Japanese. 
native shark がお送りしました。So we need a sentence like that. Let's listen to the Pete's one just one more time. このお話はドライブヨアンビション三菱自動車がお送りしました。Yeah, so that's our project for today. Let's do it. Option. <laughs> These are the options I've been working on. What do you think? So, この番組は、oh, yeah, how, do you, how do you say it? Future Learning Method. Future Learning Method. Method. Native Shark がお送りしました。Which one do you like? Learning Speed Up? えちょっと真ん中の3つはあんまり好きじゃない。I'm trying to make it one that's like something that you might actually hear a company use, but in English it's kind of weird. Would it be possible to say like, Dis- discover your learning?、Hmm. What does that even mean though? Okay, me. <laughs> you mean I? Sure. Should we do a future learning method?、Hmm. I like it. Okay, this is the model. ドライブ・ユア・アンビション三菱自動車がお送りしました。Can you record one like that? Can you say it into the mic? 私が言うの Well, I mean, you're gonna sound better saying it than me. <笑>この番組は<笑> Say it close to, close to the mic. 練習。Future Learning Method。この番組は Future Learning Method。ネイティブシャックが。And do later. この番組はフューチャーラーニング。この番組はバンクだから。この番組はフューチャー難しいね。フューチャー。この番組はフューチャーラーニングメソッド。ネイティブシャークがネイティブシャークがお送りしました。この番組はフューチャーラーニングメソッドネイティブシャークがお送りしましたいい、ね、この番組はフューチャーラーニングメソッドネイティブシャークがお送りしました。